at Schatz Bakery in Bishop. It's our first stop on our road trip to Boise. And we're gonna try and eat at as many Basque places as we can. So this is technically not a Basque place. Eric Schatz was Dutch, but um, when I did my research for my book, Travel Guide to Basque America, I talked to the owner at the time and they said that the recipe for the original sheep herder bread did come from Basque sheep herders in the area. They date back to uh, 1938, so in the old days when uh, Basques herded sheep in this valley uh, around Bishop, California. Okay, so they make their sandwiches fresh every day and you can just buy them in a box or you can wait in line and get your sandwich custom made. And the sandwich is delicious, but I have to admit that the, uh, the bottom side of the bread is a little bit soggy, but still delicious. I mean, the bread is just amazing. All right, so you can't come to this bakery without trying some other delicious goodies. So um, having a little croissant chocolate croissant and they have amazing really amazing espresso coffee my husband and I got a single shot with a little cream in it and it was only a dollar fifty Hotel in Bakersfield has closed down. The Martin Hotel currently holds the place as the oldest Basque restaurant in the West. They serve lunch here Monday through Friday, so we're going to have lunch at the Martin Hotel in Winnemucca. Having Okay, this is pork chops, french fries, and then what have you got? I've got a um, lamb shank with french fries and mint jelly. Looks good, and a lot of garlic. I love that little saying at the bottom of the receipt. Dinner served in the last tradition where friends gather. isn't any more Basque food left in Jordan Valley, but uh, it's still worth a visit to see this old fronton that was renovated. Across the way, you can see the Eloriaga Museum. This was a um, the house of uh, the Eloriaga family, who was a very well-known Basque family here in Jordan Valley for many years. So we made it to Boise and we're staying just down the street and Bar Guernica was the first place we hit because it's easy and quicker than your average restaurant, it has great beer 
and cider, Basque cider. We've got a uh, Basque salad here here at Guernica Bar. This is a great place to stay on the Basque Bar. So, uh, you're just trying it out to see how it tastes. I am trying out to see how it tastes, and I have to tell you, I love it. Absolutely refreshing. Here we have tortilla the patatas with goat cheese. Here are the peppers, Guernica peppers, and croquetas. Supervisor, I'll start sobbing at this table right now. I'm not trusting I know it's going to be good from what I've heard. Hey, I brought you guys a mistake. I love these gandia. Mm. Yummy. Want me to eat one? She's Dora is uh, smoked. So it has this, has a uh, has a little smoky paprika, but it also has a lepo pepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I'm glad you like it. That's nice. That's amazing. Good. Okay, so here we are at Epi's in Meridian. This is very close to Boise, and I've been to Boise a bunch of times, but never made it out to Epi's. It's just about 15 minutes outside of Boise. And um, it was started by uh, the Ansotegui family, who has a long tradition of being in the restaurant business here in Idaho. Go ahead. My name is Casey McFarland, and I purchased this restaurant with my husband in 2019. We purchased it from our cousins, which are Chris and Sadegi and Gina and Sadegi, and they did it in honor of their grandma, which is Epifania, and also known as Epi, and so they named it Epi's Basque Restaurant under her, and we're just enjoying and honoring our great grandma. Okay, so I got halibut with lobster cream sauce. It looks amazing. Well, I've gotten lamb chops at about every Basque restaurant I go. I hate to say it, but I judge a Basque restaurant by its lamb chops. And uh, I've had some great ones, but these are exceptional. They use this um, sauce made with garlic. And it, clearly they soak the chops in that sauce and then cook them. I mean, these are so tender and so tasty with that garlic sauce. These may be the best bass lamb chops that I've had. And you know, that says a lot. Bass yeah. apple pudding. Apple red pudding. The, the sauce is amazing. And you can tell, taste the apples in there. Here we are, we just came out of Epi's and I just wanted to mention how um, we made our reservation for five o'clock and when we walked in the door, everybody was walking in with us. This is such a popular place, like, and it opens at five o'clock and everybody wanted to be here with us. All right, so this is the paella from the Basque Market. It looks amazing. And I hardly ever get it when I come to Boise because there's always a huge line, but today we got lucky and I was hanging out and the line, everybody went through the line and there was still paella left, so we're lucky. How is it? Well, to be honest, absolutely delicious. This place just knows how to make this in large quantities outside. It's just always a treat when I come to Boise.